here is why bodybuilders are not athletes. I'm gonna start off with the positives so that you bodybuilders don't pop a hemorrhoid. You don't need to take more C4 to get jacked up to have a rebuttal to me. Just hear me out. Number one, I believe bodybuilding takes more dedication and consistency than almost any other professional sport. Nutrition, sleep, training, repeat, make sure everything is optimized. Number two, bodybuilders work as hard or harder in their training than any other professional sport. The amount of volume, consistency, and intensity they have to train with is astronomical. Number three, their attention to detail is that of a professional golfer. You have to see everything coming. You have to sculpt your body perfectly to be one of the best. However, in my professional opinion, that doesn't make them an athlete. The dictionary definition is a person who is proficient in sports and other physical activities. 150% bodybuilders are proficient and it's a physical activity. But the first problem I have is how we score it. The entirety of bodybuilding is a subjective score. It's subject to what the judges think. Yes, there's a template, but if that judge compares you to a perception he has from the past that your delts aren't where they need to be, see you later. So that's my first point. All the grading and how we win competitions is subjective. When it comes to other sports, you either lift the weight or you don't. You either get more touchdowns than the other team or you don't, or you get more takedowns or you don't. It's black and white, cut and dry. Number two, and this is my opinion, my definition of athleticism is the ability to seamlessly and effortlessly combine primal movement patterns through space to accomplish a known or novel task. That definition and captures what an athlete is much better than being proficient at physical activity. As an athlete, you have to be able to do everything seamless and effortless, whether that's tennis or football. You have to be able to combine primal movement patterns that we train in the gym so that you can proficiently move through space. This is the big one, to accomplish a known or novel task, whether that's to accomplish the game, whether that's to beat your opponent. You are directly competing against that opponent one-on-one, -on -one, Mano y mano. So my big opinion difference is we're not having very black and white grading of your competition, and you are not having an external stimuli or stimulus to go against, such as an opponent, to actually exhibit your athletic ability. I would love to hear your thoughts, and I hope you remember what I said at the start. It takes more dedication, consistency, and attention to detail in bodybuilding than it does in any other sport. Don't blow a hemorrhoid.